Famous Funnies was the very first monthly comic book series, and that's how it was in the beginning of 1935. But DC had started up with National Allied's new fun comics being their first competitor. Let's see what Famous Funnies was releasing in 1935. The year started off with number six, featuring many stories, all one page strips each, including Joe Palooka, written by Al Cap, going under the name of Ham Fisher, which he did on many issues at this time. Dixie Duggan was written by J.P. McEvoy, with pencils by J.H. Striebel. Strange As It Seems continued again in this issue from writer and artist John Hicks. The Nebs returned, written by Sol Hess with pencils by Wallace A. Carlson. The new hot sci-fi series Buck Rogers appeared with a script written by Philip Francis Nolan and pencils by Rick Yeager. And Keeping Up With The Joneses reappeared in this issue from writer and artist Pop Mormont. Alfred Gerald Kaplan, better known as Al Cap, was an American cartoonist and humorist best known for the satirical comic strip Lil Abner, which he created in 1934 and continued until 1977. Al Cap was born September 28, 1909, surviving until November 5, 1979. He also wrote the comic strip Abby and Slats in the years 1937 to 45. Comic strips dealt with northern urban experiences until the year Cap introduced Lil Abner, the first strip based in the south. Although Cap was from Connecticut, he spent 43 years teaching the world about Dogpatch, reaching an estimated 60 million readers in over 900 American newspapers and 100 foreign papers in 28 countries. Heritage Auctions is the world's largest collectibles auctioneer, with 40 collectible categories and nearly 1 million online bidder members. Whether you're an experienced collector hunting for that elusive item, or a novice considering the sale of a valuable family heirloom, put the expertise and market strength of Heritage Auctions to work for you. Visit us today at HA.com to find out for yourself why Heritage Auctions is the world's largest collectibles auctioneer. <laughs> 